Hey guys, we're back. Uh, this is Dawson with CS625 and uh, I've got uh, Nathan again with me. We were actually chatting out in the parking lot a little bit and talking about switching and so on and uh, Nathan came up with something that I thought in your design because you know we've got the term project for designing and the homework problems and so on and uh, Nathan thought he might could share just a little bit with you. So Nathan, go ahead. Okay. What we were talking about is the different types of uh, uh, network components. Uh, primarily uh, in the middle or the center of your network is your core and then a step out from that will be your distribution and then down from that will be your access. The access layer is actually the the, the end switch, this, this 7560, uh, I'm sorry, 7560, um, the 3560 8-port or 24-48-port switches these are the devices that are that, that are um, not chassis based or um, um, modular based. They're they're fixed switches, and this is where you're going to actually have your PC sitting out here, your, your IP phones, uh, your desktops. Um, that's what the access layer is going to be, and this distribution layer is where you're going to actually uh, come out of that into all these access layers. Uh, on this on this level here, and all your PCs will be out here. Okay, this, Nathan. So, excuse me just for a mm -hmm. second, but would your access switches and your distribution switch normally be? Let's say we had a multi-story building. Would they typically both be found in the closets, not not in the data room or so on? Um, there's there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, the answer is yes and no. It, it can be in the distribution switch can be out in the end closet, depending on how many end users you have on the floor, depending on how big of a building you have. Um, so we've designed these to where uh, we've actually had a distribution switch on each floor that, that came out to the access switches. Um, so we have a small chassis here and then uh, fixed port switches here so that we can uh, get out to the end users. Um, but depending on the environment, I mean, that, right. But sometimes in a small business, yeah, you, you would two devices can be in one device in one, one location or one device. Right. Correct. Uh, matter of fact, with the new data center stuff, the distribution and core are actually being collapsed together. Gotcha. And you have one box that you virtually segment the top part of your ports or core, and your bottom part are your distribution, and you're in one you're in one device. Okay, so it would be typical for you to come out of a distribution with fiber, go up to a closet, and then have stackable switches. Correct. That are fixed port in that closet connected to the distribution switch. Correct. Okay. Absolutely. And go on down to your core now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank and, you. And um, these will collapse back to um, the core uh, with uh, either Ether channel, multiple uplinks, 10 gig Ethernet. And the core is where you're back actually going to house your server farms, uh, any, any important data like that, and also do your layer three um, out to um, remote locations or your metropolitan anything or campus land or anything like that. Okay, so your core would be what connects to the servers, the firewall, the router, and so on before the router goes out into the network, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, anything else regarding the, this, this stack? No, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Again, you're going to have layer two out here, all your access VLANs and everything out here. You're going to collapse them back to the distribution layer. You can do layer three in here, route between the VLANs, um, and then uh, layer two up to the core, and then layer three out to the rest of the network. Nathan, we, we really appreciate your time again, and um, we thank you for being a part of our class. No problem.